In this video we're going to look at some more basics to do with Lightworks but this time we're going to take a few more advanced features so that we're not just putting clips into a timeline and adding audio. We want to do some extra stuff. So we're going to cover a few things that we didn't cover in Basics 1. Now you can see I've got a movie already made here and all my clips as always are from vidEasy.com and I've got a music track from the Free Music Archive website which is absolutely brilliant for music. Now if you don't know how to get your clips into the timeline, how to get audio into the timeline, how to do these fades into the audio, and anything that you see on the screen. If you're thinking, I don't know how to do this, go back right now and watch Basics 1, because that will teach you how to get started, how to get your movies into Lightworks, and how to edit all those things with your clips and put them into the timeline. So you really want to be watching that video if you don't know how I got any of this on the screen. Now, if you have a look at this movie, it's just a uh, bunch of random clips with some music in there. Now a question I get asked really quite often is how do you move your clips so that there's a space in between two clips? Now Lightworks doesn't really have an easy way to do this so I wish there was an easy way. So what I normally do is a very quick and easy make a space kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the audio because I don't want to mess around with the audio track. I'm going to go in between these two clips here. Now this might be a nice time to learn a new keyboard shortcut. So A and S on your keyboard are a rewind and forward. So if I press A you'll see that the playhead moves to the end and if I press S it will just jump to the in-betweens of every one of my clips. It's a really nice shortcut. Saves you having to move your mouse over there all the time and click away. So what I want to do is just add a space over here in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is just randomly click on a clip. Doesn't matter if you've used it before or not. And I'm going to go over here to the insert button. So what I'm going to do is put this clip in between those two clips there, which I'm going to press now. And you can see it's in there. And immediately all I'm going to do is pick it up and throw it away. Now what you can see is I now have a black space in between the two clips that I wanted a black space in. Now what you have to remember, in some ways Lightworks treats a space as if it's a clip. So this black space here is actually a clip. So I can click on it, just like I do any other clip, and make it longer. So I can make the space longer or shorter. But I can do other things as well. Uh, but you have to be careful here because what I'm about to do can really cause you to make a huge mess in your movie. So what you can now do is just pick up clips and move them around. Now you can see what's happening here. I'm moving clips around but what I'm doing is leaving these huge black spaces in between my clips. So yes you can make a black space or an empty space in your clips but be very careful of how you now move things around because if you've got a, a movie that's 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes long and you start to do this stuff you're going to end up actually creating more problems. So let's get rid of this black space and that's a really simple method. You right click inside it and you say close the gap. And you notice that all my movie clips jump back. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to close that gap. And I've just got this small space here now so I can kind of move that around. Now why would you want an empty space? Well let's say you wanted a title. You could put it on top of that black space and then you'd end up with your clip again. So that's a really fast way and a really useful way of getting empty gaps or black spaces into your movie. I'm going to close this one down. Now another question I'm asked really quite often is how would I move one, two, three, four clips away? Now it could be for whatever reason that you have to move your video and its audio away in the timeline so that you had to fit something in there. So let's figure out how to move four movie clips at the same time. Let me just close down this preview window so we've got our main window up here. So again, you can't just pick up a clip and move it because what you're going to end up doing is creating problems. And I've seen my students actually just pick up clips and move them. And yes, it's really doable with four clips. There's no real problem there. But sometimes you make a movie and you could well end up with a hundred clips. So you're not going to go and do that to 75 clips. You're just wasting your time there. So what we're going to do, noticing that I still have my audio disabled because, and I'll show you actually the mistake I can make with that. So what I'm going to do is again using my A and S buttons, I'm going to now go into the main movie window. This is the main window where I'm editing and I'm going to press an in. 
and then I'm going to press S on my keyboard, move it to the end, and mark that as an out. Now what will happen is if I pick it up, all four movies will go. Now you can see that, again, if you've got a longer movie and you've got 20 clips, just mark an in and an out and they will all move in one go. It's really useful. And I'm going to undo that all the way back. Now let's do it in a, well this might be useful but for me this would be a mistake because I've got this backing track which sounds really nice. So what's going to happen is, let me just clear my markers, I'm going to again mark an in and out, I'll do it in a different place now, there, and I'm going to just skip forward two and mark my out there. Now again note that my audio is selected so I've switched it on. Now look what happens when I move it and I've actually cut the audio out of the timeline. Now this might be useful for you but in most cases if you've got a backing track you want to disable it so that you're not cutting it apart when you're moving the actual movie clips around. So that's a really useful way of moving whole movie clips around without having to mess around and move them one by one. Another question that I'm asked more often than not, is how do you cut a movie clip? Now I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I thought it'd be nice to actually single this one out because it's a really useful thing to do because we're going to then do a freeze frame using the same technique. Again, I'm going to disable the audio and you should know by now when I disable the audio, what that means is whatever action I'm doing on the film, I don't want to do that same action on the audio. So let's just go forward. I'm going to extend this horse movie because I know it's a little bit longer to about there. And let's say I wanted to go up to my horse movie and just cut it there. Again, it's really easy because on my keyboard, I'm just going to press C and that's C for cut. And you can see I just cut my clip into two. And then whatever I want to do here, I can move this around or I can delete it or whatever I need to do. So C is a really quick way of cutting a clip that you've got that you didn't do your in and outs properly. Now we can use the C, the cut shortcut, to do some really cool things. So let's, for example, go over here to the river scene. So if I play that, you can see that the boat's moving. Now let's say if I wanted to do a freeze frame. Now what's a freeze frame? That means the video's playing, it pauses, the music will carry on playing, but the video will pause as if somebody's pressed pause. And then after a time, it will unpause itself. Now this is really useful. You'll see in some classic films where they'll pause the film and some voiceover will come and tell you about the character or some situation. So we're gonna do a freeze frame. That's really quite easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna play up to about here. I'm gonna press C on my keyboard to create that cut. Now you can see I've created a cut here. And what I'm going to do, and you have to zoom in a little bit for, for this to work, is I'm going to, on my keyboard, just press with the left and right arrow keys, you can see that the playhead, the red line, moves. Now this is moving one frame. Now one frame is a very short amount of time. So what we're gonna do is just move it forward one frame, and I'm going to press C again. So I've done a one frame cut over here. I'm going to right click inside, I'm going to go to the speed, and I'm going to set that to zero. What that means is, when it plays, it's absolutely still. Now what I can do is just move that a little bit forward till it's a few frames big, and then I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I've done. make that a little bit bigger so you can actually see it and there you go so what's going to happen here is the boat's going to go it's going to freeze frame over here and then carry on going and of course depending on what you're using the freeze frame for you can have it quite exaggerated where the boat will go and then at a certain moment it will just freeze the voiceover will come talking about the boat talking about the river whatever the voice is going to say and by the end of the voiceover, the boat will continue to go. This is a really useful thing to do, especially if you're doing presentations or things like that and you really need the film to pause. Let's just listen to that with the music on because it sounds quite cool. 
And you can see the music continues, but the picture doesn't. So it's a really useful technique for you to make your films a little bit more special. So that's using the C and the speed of the clip to create these freeze frames. Now one really good use of the freeze frame would be to put a title on top of it so that you get this very stylish movie playing, pausing with a title on top of it and then unpausing. So if I was to show you that really quickly, and if you don't know how to do titles or if what I'm doing is confusing, go and watch my titles video. Let's just put a very simple title. If I check my movie, it's of course that portion there which is still. So I'm going to take my title and just throw it on top of there. Put in some cool text like so. And as you know from my last video, you can really do anything you want to to that text there. Now if we go back to our edit, you'll see it's actually a really cool effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the boat coming in and it's going to have the title as long as that still frame is there. So of course, if I was to shorten it like so, the title will only last as long as that still frame. And it's a really, really cool thing to do in your videos. It makes you kind of look more professional, really sets your movie apart. So there we have uh, the Basics 2 video. We talked about the C to cut, talked about A and S on your keyboard to move backwards and forwards, talked about black space, putting it in and moving things around and getting rid of the black space. And finally, freeze frames with titles on top of them just to make sure your videos look a lot more professional.